We have a king that rise on his might, conquering now and still to conquer. Despite the things that happen to us, we have a king that has conquered death. And on that day when Jesus will come, we will see our brothers and sisters and our parents that have gone before us conquering now and still to conquer and at the end towards the end of this song of the of the service the choral will also be invited to sing
we want to thank God for the church choir. As is known in our tradition, the music is made in the university, and the church choir is the official choir of the members of this church, and uh, I'm glad that you came well presented and singing to the glory of God. God bless you. We also have the university chorale that will also be singing. We, this program is a special program. You know, we have lost my guapo neighbor. Not many people understand what I just said. Very few will understand. My guapo neighbor uh, called Johnny. And once in a while, they would come with their wife and bring me cookies and things. We are good neighbors. We are not hostile neighbors. And even when they came from the Philippines, they brought me a cap and uh, some cookies that I enjoyed as a good neighbor. And it is... Uh, a sad moment for us. We are the chaplain's team, and those chaplain's team that are present here, please stand. We are having this special program for you as a family. The chaplain's team that are here, and our head is Professor Philip Mayo. So let those chaplain's team stand. Dr. Bakey is there. I know some other people are there. Please stand. This is our special way of including you, sir. You are our leader of the chaplain's team. That's where we report. So you stand. So. And I'm glad you have put them together. This team here, we are having this special program now and in the evening for this family. Thank you very much. Dr. Beck is there. Professor Philip Mayo, who is our head in that department. I know the university is grieving. The family is also grieving. And we are here to put you to the right place. There are many people who have come from far. This morning, the visit came from Mombasa. Last evening, I know Engineer Barongo came from Nairobi. Yesterday, my dear wife also came all the way from Rongo to be together with this family. There are people who have traveled, and I know we have all come to let you know that the Lord will not leave you. So this program, while we will address everybody else, is designed for our members. You need to know Matthew is a member of this church and plays the piano. And the lead of the children's choir, BC Children's Choir, is Lorraine. And uh, we thank God for your participation in this church. We want to share words that are true from the Bible. When things come hard, I know that we can find consolation from the Word of God, the Bible. And those of us who are here, our program, this will go, promise that endure forever, will go slightly, will make sure that it will end at least by 12, 30 at the maximum. It may not even reach there. But please, because we'll also have the choral singing at the end, and I will also invite the congregation in the middle of my sermon to sing song 633. Three, three. I'm warning now in advance so that you are prepared. 633, three, you, in the middle, when you, you, you see me and uh, giving the, the signal, we will all sing as a congregation. 633. Three. And then at the tail end, we will have the our university choral. And I want you to do what you did in the first uh, promise. You don't delay. You come when you get the signal from me you start being there even before I finish what I'm going to say. Now, with those preliminaries, now we are set. Let's pray. Again, Father, we turn to your word. That is true. And our viewers that are here, and those that are up, and those that are in whatever country they are, we now pray that, Lord, you will take charge of this program to their glory and honor. May your words bring hope and assurance of your promises that never go still. We pray in Jesus' name. You know, the Bible says that God makes promises, and his promises remain the same. I know our friend Lorraine and our late neighbor, Johnny, made some promises. But as we talk now, those promises were until death do as a part. Those who are married were here. You know, when you go to marriage, you take some promises. And those promises expire 
at death. But I want to bring to you ex uh, promises that do not expire. In death, when you are alive, when you are sick, when you are well, when you are educated, when you are not, when you have position, when you don't have it, those promises endure. And I want to share with you four promises as found in the Word of God. I've take two passages of the Bible and I'll read only through them. And then we'll be able to get those four promises. Let's start with Matthew. And I want us to read Matthew chapter 28, verse 20. Get the words from Jesus himself. And you know, Jesus never makes wrong things. The first one, I'm always with you. When I was reading, I liked the message Bible. My friend, I'd send it there. I, if you can bring me the Message Bible. And uh, I want you to know how the Message Bible puts that text. If they are not there, I will read mine, which I have here. But the Message Bible have some words that add a lot of meaning in the book of Matthew 28, verse 20. Let, let me read mine. Then instruct them in the practice of all I have commanded you. Oh, thank you. You are up to the task. Now I can read from there. Then instruct them in the practice of all I have commanded you. Now listen to those words. I, I'll be with you as you do this day after day. Right up to the end of the age. That is a promise that Christ himself gave. When the disciples' hope was lingering away, he told them, I want you to count something. I, I will not delegate. I will be with you every day. Through it all. In the valley, in the mountains, when things are good, in rainy days, I give you my word. I will be with you. You know why those words are true? It brings something in that others cannot be with you always. Like now, your friend, I, 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 you know, I almost cried, but I didn't. I hide when I came to you, told me when you looked at the bed and where John used to be, he's no longer there. That empty space. So we, we can make promises, but a time comes, we cannot be there. And that's why I thank God he comes in, in that void and says, I, he, I who was there yesterday, I who was, is there today, and I who knows the future, I give you my word, I will be with you. And all of us who are here, you can count on that one. A time comes when your mother or your father are not there. I don't have them myself. A time comes that you don't have your spouse. Some of us here do not have them then. You don't have colleagues. But God gives an assurance. He knows there's lonely times. He says, I will fill that void. And we can count on that promise because God never lies. And my friends, I want you to start preparing. Even Matthew, you need to know this. Yes, daddy may not be there, Matthew. But you have another dad, our father who art in heaven. Our father, who was in where? He's a father to the fatherless. A husband to the widows. He is a provider to those who are in need. And he gives his word, I will be with you always. I will, I'm planning to end with that because that has got two tales. The first tale is, it is a fact in the normal world that there are things that come to an end. Like the week has come to an end. The day will come to an end. The year will come to an end. Our lives will come to an end. But there is something that will not end. And in those who study the words, the word suntelea means when everything ends, when all other friends come to an end, I will always be there. You can count on me now. You can count on me tomorrow. You can count on me in the future. 
We want to connect you to a friend who died and was buried but defied death. On that Sunday morning, yes, you heard me right. On that Sunday morning, the tombs could not hold him. I've walked down there, I've seen the tomb is being prepared and whatever is being written there. But on that Sunday, the tombs could not hold them. They cracked open and the Lord came out and he came out in style. If you read the book of Salvages, he did not just walk out. He took care of the clothings. He took them, wrapped them and left them there. You know, there are some of us, when they wake up in the morning, they don't even make their beds. They don't know from my master. When he was waking from that sleep, he took the clothes, folded them, put them there. Then he said, you will no longer hold me again. This cloth only holds those who are dead. But me, I was dead. But now I live forever because death has no power over me. And those who believe in Christ, I cannot tell you death has no power over him. So John is resting. By the way, people don't choose death. Though it is painful, Lorraine, but uh, there are some kind of deaths. If I was to choose, I will choose the journey type. You know when you become sick, people spend all the bills, they take you to what? They take you to Loma Linda, and you go fly you there, and they pay a lot of bills, and, and whatever, and people come there. And then, but finally, you die. But whatever happens, I can assure you that Jesus says, yes, those who rest in me, I am there for you who are alive, but I'm also there with those who are dead because this world has not end here. There's another one that will come. And even then time, I will be there with you. So God gives our first promise that day after day, when things go wrong or bad, he has given us an assurance he will be with us. And my friends, you can count that one. You have, some of us lucky like me, I still have my wife, you have your whatever children, but the time comes that they are not there with you. You have employment, time comes you don't have employment. You have strength, time comes you don't have strength. You have power, time comes you don't have that power. But you can count on the first promise of the Lord. I will always be with you to the very end. Number two, promise. I will never leave you. God is saying, I will not only be there presently, I will not leave you regardless of what you go through. And when you read that book of Hebrews 13 verse 5, part B, for he himself has said, that's what I'm reading, I will never leave you. You can count that one. I will never leave you. You know, my friend at the, at, at, at the control there is a very good man. I want him to, to highlight, I will never leave you only. He will. When he brings it the second time, it will be already highlighted. My friends, God is not saying only, in this first promise, I will be with you, I will not leave you. People leave us. Friends leave us. You see now, it's already there. I will never leave you. I will never leave you. He has given that promise. I will never. And you can count on him because God never lies. No matter what the test, God will take care of you. I will never leave you. And that tells us that while we have men and women and children and powers, those ones will leave us. You know, I, I've been wondering now, the other day it was our former president holding, giving directions and powers now somebody else is giving it that one. That is this world. But God is telling us those will change. Government will change. Age and time will change. But I give you my word. I will never leave you. So while Johnny is living, God is with Johnny as well. While you are there, he said, I will be there. Well, Matthew is looking for a father. Matthew, yes, there's somebody giving you a promise. And that promise you can take. I will never leave you. Your sister that I come all the way from the United States, you must know your brother has left you. But God is saying, yes, I'm with your brother, but I'm also with you. 
I've given my word, and my word you can take to the bank. I will never leave you. And then the third part, which is also there, he said, I will not forsake you. The third one, I will not forsake you. Now, forsaking means, you know, like now I have seen, which is okay. And I thank God for my brother, Baongoli. You know, Baongoli is my brother. We have many things we do in, to, together. Yeah, I'm seeing him now sitting well. Baongoli, I, I'm looking at you there. <laughs> you know, Baongoli has made a lot of arrangements where we visit there. We will tell, but a time will come when that program will not be there. I can assure you. A time will come those who always visit will not be visiting. That you must know. They'll also be doing their own things. But when they leave, God is saying, me, I will not forsake you. I have seen the first lady, I have not seen her today here, almost every morning bringing good breakfast and inviting us to enjoy. I don't know how long she will do that one, Bonavisi. How long will she be taking breakfast there? It might end even this week. But I want to give you something you can learn, count, count on. And this is, I want all people to know, the only person that will not forsake you is not your husband, is not your wife, is not your father, is not your employer. It is who? Christ. And he gives his word, I will not forsake you. When other people leave you, I'll be there for you. I'll put my arm of love around you. Because myself, I've given you a promise. Now, I want to come to the, the, th the last one before the choir comes now. So I'm giving you, seems that the choir needs to start preparing. I want you to bring the fourth one. You know, the Lord is my helper. When you read that book of, 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 of Hebrews 13 verse 6, read it. So we can boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. The Lord is my helper. You see, this Lord who has promised in, and I want to use that one as I want to bring to my close. When you use that writer, he brings something in. Uh, I want the, the choir first. You want to bring me the, the choral? I wish we'll bring the, the choir first. Then the choral will come soon. Now, the choir. Before you come, the, the, the general singing. Before the general singing, I want you to listen to something here. You see in that text, it says, I will be your helper. Not only forsaking you, I will be there for help. By the way, what God is wanting us to see, he wants to help us here until when we are in heaven. And when we go to heaven, he will help us to remove the emotions of grief and turn it to joy because when we will all go to heaven... You didn't hear me. When? We all get to heaven. <laughs> I didn't hear it. When we all get to heaven. When we all go to heaven, there will be no mourning. There will be no forsaking one another. There will be no betrayal. There will be no more death. There will be no more pain. There will be no more people pretending to be what they are not. And I want us to sing with some understanding this song. When we all go to heaven. Because there, the helper will help us to walk for us today, every day, until we all go to where? To heaven. Take the stage. Everybody, we shall sing. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Thank you. 
Holy ladies, let everybody. things in this world is when we all go to heaven. God has promised to walk with us. Our destination is not Kenya or the Philippines or the United States of America. Our destination is where? Is heaven. And when we all go there, we will not remember what we go through. We will be thankful to the Lord for keeping us faithful to him. And now I pray that all of us who are in this church, all of us who are grieving together, as our friend has left us, we have one wind of hope. I want you to listen to me this one as I make my closing remarks. We have one wind of hope. That window is that those who will go to heaven will have the privilege of in a world where we never grow old. There will be no more sickness. So doctors can continue making money by treating people because soon they will not have that privilege to treat people. Nobody will be sick. Those who are teaching, you teach, my friends. Soon you will not have that opportunity to teach there. Those who are preaching, preach on! You will not have time to preach. The only people who will have job, my friend, as you tell them to put their mouth smiling, are the choir because they will sing where? <laughs> in heaven they'll be singing. So Lorraine, you will continue singing there and your friend Matthew will be playing the, the piano because in heaven, singing will do what? Will not, will not end. Preaching will end. Doctors will end their work. Administrators, including myself, will not do any administrative work there. But singing will not end. So my friends, I appeal to you don't end it here in the university. Give your life to Christ and claim those promises that are true. Bring the four of them. We want all the four. We now want to count all of the men and then the choir will sing and after that song we will end our service. I, I pray that they'll bring the four of them. If my friend is there, if you can bring all the four so that we see them. If not, I will go to where I've put them. Okay, they are all there, the four of them. All the four, but number one, number two, number three, number four of the promises of God. We are not standing on those promises. We are banking on those promises. Number one, what was it? Let me ask the congregation, those who are there, if you have known it, now you can tell me. What was number one? Let me hear from, number, from people now. What was number one? I will always be with you. Always. That you can tell. Number two, what was it? I will never leave you. Count on that one. And number three, I will never forsake you. And number four, the Lord is my helper, the choir.
Dunyego. That was good. The message is right. The tone is right. The mood is in the right one. The conducting is right. And the message is together. No more pain. No more tears. No more night. Hallelujah. And it's for eternity. I would want to ask all our elders. Uh, we want Lorraine to come with your family here. We want to pray with you and for you. All the elders present, please come in the pulpit. Because this was a special program done by us. So please just come. We'll pray with you together here. All the elders, please come now. And just come, come slowly. This is our special service to you as a church. Just come, family. All elders, come. And you are here in your numbers. Just come. We will hear. All elders will come. We want you to be here. We'll go around you and we pray with you. Just come for now. You will do that one when we have done the prayer. You will be in the center. We will make a round around them. Make a round. Figures around them. Elders. Know why we are here. Elders. I want you to make a, a, a circle. One, two, three. Make a circle. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Elders come. These are all elders. We are here. And we want to just 
let you know that the Lord is putting his arm around you. Yes. Now, we just want to have two people praying. The first one who will pray is uh, Dr. Wahonya. I want a brief prayer. And then I will also make a very brief one. People there, please give Dr. Wahonya a mic. Very brief one. The other one is me, so don't worry. Very brief prayers. Okay, let's pray for the family. Let us pray. Our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you that we have listened to your word, a word of encouragement, a word that helps us to keep going in spite of the things that we meet on this earth. Right here in this church, in this university, dear Father, we have the family of our late brother, Johnny Villa Gomez. We want to thank you so much, my God, for this family. We want to thank you for Matthew. We want to thank you for Dr. Lorraine. Oh, yes. We want to thank you for the family members who have come in from the United States of America to join them during this moment of grief. Thank you for journey masses that you granted to them. And now, my Father, we thank you for these precious promises that the pastor has brought and reminded us of. May we be comforted, knowing indeed that we are not alone. Yes. You are the God who has promised to be with us, and you will be with us until the very end of the age. Thank you so much, my Father, for being with this family and being with the entire university community as we support this family and as we grieve over our late brother, knowing that death will never, never yes. have the last word. Oh, yes. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. You see the tears of this young lady. You see the grief of the son and the relatives. That's why you are promising never to leave or forsake them. To be always with them to the very end. May you now put your arm of love around them and encircle them. As we, the elders, surround them, we commit them into that hand that is tested and tried. May this special service point this family to you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, uh, I'm seeing uh, Mama come. The, uh, the elders' wives that are here, there are, there are some few elders' wives that are here. Please come. We want to thank you. We want to know that the Lord is with you. First, uh, elders' wives that are here, please come because we, we want to give you some assignments. And if my wife can come, you also come. Please, we want you to know as a family, we as the elders and the team that are here, we are praying for this family. What touches you, touches us. Come, 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 come. You, Kujeni, you elders' wife, we want you to be close to this lady and, you know, you can give the hugs and the other things that we, we, we may not be allowed to do as we do this service. We want you to surround the lady and, 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 and give the hugs and give the comfort that are needed that you will do on our behalf as we stand with them. So, on behalf of the elders and this church and the university, we as a church, we want to let you know, yes, that we stand with you. And may God be the one to take care of the details. Yes, Rhoda, you can also come here close. and uh, uh, At least you are our field neighbors. Okay, we the elders and with our spouses, we just want to let you know we are praying for you, we stand with you, and we wish you well. This was a special service designed to lift you to the Lord that we serve. May God bless you, and thank you very much. The ladies can walk with you down, and we will have a program here in this, in this church. Please do not miss that program. We'll be starting at 5 to 6.30. Thank you very much. We wish you well. Please take care of our friends as they go back to their seats. Okay. Thank you. Elders, we have done well for coming. Now, yes, the song will be sung. 
there's a song that we do when we finish, we will be done. And we just want to things to cool down, the song will be sung as we end the service. Song will be sung. Yes. This is the threefold truth on which health and depends. And with this joyful cry, worship begins and ends. Christ has died, Christ has risen.